Yo, what is up guys? Today, we're looking at a Town Hall 10 Upgrade Guide. Alright, so here is what I like to call a progress base. Uh, on this side, it shows you what you have maxed out. Uh, and this side, it shows you what you have to work on. So... Um, on my Town Hall 10, this is a Town Hall 10, I went to Town Hall 10 three days ago. I didn't get quite maxed as you can see from all these walls and my heroes aren't quite maxed from Town Hall 9. But this is my fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth, I don't know, one of the two. Uh, this is my fourth or fifth time going through Town Hall 10 so I wasn't too worried about it, I knew I could catch up eventually. But uh, let's, let's check out what my upgrade order is. We, at first, these are the upgrades you gotta get in immediately. The first thing I do every time I go to a new town hall, you gotta upgrade that clan castle. You gotta get the extra spell storage, the siege machine, the troop capacity, whatever it is for that town hall, you gotta upgrade it. I already did that. It is already at level 6, as you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and move that over here. It is finished. The second thing I always do... The laboratory. You gotta get the lab down for the. If I can get there. Um, how do I see it? Nope, nope. I don't know how to see it. Oh, the boost. You get a boost every time you attack in war, when you're farming. You get five days worth of boost if you get that lab finished. You get all town hall 10 troops for those five days if you finish right away. I already have it finished. So we're gonna go ahead and move it over here. We already got that done. Uh, the next thing, you gotta get the spell factory at Town Hall 10. You get you get uh, an extra spell, right? You get an extra spell at Town Hall 10? I think so. <laughs> I don't even know. But uh, regardless, you gotta get the spell factory down. I think you get an extra spell space. Uh, but you, you gotta get it down. Uh, the dark spells factory at Town Hall 10, you get bats. And it is nice getting this out of the way, upgrading it. Oh. Whoops, I wasn't even going to do that, but <laughs> I was going to say, if you don't plan on using bats right away at Town Hall 10, you can go ahead and move this down here. Um, it's not necessarily the best upgrade out of the original six I had up here, but uh, it is nice getting it out of the way, so you are you you get that out of the way so you can have uh, all your spells available to you. <laughs> I didn't even mean to upgrade that to be honest, but uh, then you gotta start focusing your heroes. Your king and the queen, you gotta get down right away. You can't fall behind on your heroes. As you see, I already am falling behind. My queen's only at level 22, but we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that today. Um, Alright, so the next order I got, you gotta get the army camps down at Town Hall 10. That 4 million upgrade, you get an extra 5 space for each one, so you get plus 20. Four Town Hall 10, you get 20 more troops than you did at Town Hall 9. Uh, the next order here, I mean, you see how I have these barracks split up? You don't necessarily need to do all of them in this order. I only do a couple at a time. I only do one dark barracks at a time. Because I like to be able to farm at a decent level. If you upgrade too many barracks at once, you only have one barracks open for troops. It's going to be really slow. Really slow. I don't do too much farming on this account anyways though, but uh, if, this is, if this is your main, I wouldn't suggest upgrading all your barracks at the same time. That's why I have them split here, but I do suggest getting the miner unlocked right away. In my opinion, the, either the mass miner or the queen charge miner is the best farming option at Town Hall 10. The bowlers are what you're going to see more for war. You not, don't necessarily need to farm with bowlers unless you're using a couple. But, uh, and I like having the Dark Elixir drill. I seem, every Town Hall level, I feel like I need more Dark Elixir than I do Elixir or Gold. So, I got the Dark Elixir drill up on the scale a little bit higher than these Elixir and Gold Mines. But, and then, so we're moving on to the next one. We do have the Gold Mines here. I don't suggest uh, upgrading these right away because you will lose the boost. And the boost is nice, so... I'd hold off onto these until your 5-day boost is up from upgrading Town Hall 10. 
And let's go ahead and look at the next one. I do got these barracks. I mean, you can spread these out, though. You don't need to. You can spread them out. It doesn't matter. As long as you get the original first two, you can spread these out wherever you want. You got available elixir, and you got nothing else to use it on. Go ahead and drop it on the barracks. Doesn't matter. Um, I also didn't talk about the new defenses at Town Hall 10. I would say these aren't a priority to upgrade right away. Uh, I'd say you want to focus, I always focus on more of my offense first, my heroes, the lab, the CC, your army camps, your barracks, uh, your laboratory troop, your troops in the laboratory. I always tend to focus my offense first, but if you do want to get your Inferno Towers, that extra expo, the bomb tower, the extra archer tower, the cannon, I go ahead if you want whenever. Um, like I said, I wouldn't suggest doing the Inferno Towers right away, I, especially for your Noir. It's going to increase your war weight by a lot, and your team clanmates are going to expect you to be able to three-star Town Hall 10s if you're a Town Hall 10, so you're probably not going to be able to do that right away as soon as you upgrade to Town Hall 10, so that's why I say hold off on them. If you're not in war, though, go ahead, get your Inferno Towers. It's up to you. You can upgrade your base however you want. It's just my suggestion. Um, then we got the Expos. The I think it's the second longest upgrade at Town Hall 10 after the Inferno Tower, I believe. Not sure. We'll, I'll check it later. But uh, regardless, I like getting those Expos down nice and early. Uh, then we got the Wizard Towers, the Air Defense, the Teslas, uh, Arch Towers, Mortars, the Sweepers, and the Bomb Tower. And that other bomb tower I still haven't put down yet. But it's still right. It's right there. There it is. And then last I have the mortars. I feel like the mortars are the weakest defense. I don't know. What do you guys think the, the, the weakest defense is on your base? Go ahead, Comment down below. Whatever you think it is. Um, And then after that. You can upgrade your traps whenever. If you're going to do traps priority. I like to do the skeleton traps first. In my opinion, they are the best traps once you unlock them. Um, and then, I don't know, it's kind of a toss-up between the rest of the traps here. I'd say spring traps are the least important. Once they're like, once you get them maxed out at Town Hall 10 anyways, but, uh, I don't know. You get them level 4. Level 5, you, you can spring a Yeti off of level 5 though, so, I don't know. Your base might get yeti bombed <laughs> but uh you don't need to upgrade your storages since town hall 9 you can max them out there um and for your upgrade for your labs i mean it's kind of up to you if you do unlock the miner right away i suggest upgrading the miner first in the heal spell that way you have the best farming option in my my opinion it is the best farming option uh either queen charge miner or a mass miner attack i'll have that in a future video we'll do some farming at town hall 10 with my personal favorite town hall 10 attack or farming but uh yeah let's go ahead and i got i got some magic items we can use here and a ruin of elixir let's go ahead and pop that and let's uh put what do we want to upgrade what do you want to upgrade i'm not in war with this account so what do I want to upgrade personally? Let's go ahead and put the baby drag down. I'm farming a lot with baby drags more recently. Uh, especially at like Town Hall 9, in my opinion. If you chill in gold, you get baby, a mass baby, like literally, I have it trained right now. <laughs> you just bring mass baby drag, you're in gold, you can find some good loot uh, down there. Let's go ahead and upgrade all those walls because I got a bunch of wall rings and let's collect those let's collect those anything else Ooh, we got that ruin of a dark elixir let's see if I can upgrade my king nice that's perfect so let's go ahead and put my king back down then we can use the ruin we just got and we can put my queen back down there we go there we go so I got my king queen upgrading again that is nice. Uh, I should have saved. Should have saved to upgrade a dark elixir troop. To be honest, we could have got the. I like to do. I like to do Lalo at Town Hall Ten for war. That's all right. 
Because you do have the max level loons from Town Hall 9 at Town Hall 10. You have the same level loons, so... I like to do a lot of Lalo in the beginning at Town Hall 10 for war specifically only. <laughs> Don't I wouldn't suggest using it for farming unless you're practicing with it. That's uh what I suggest. I mean it's up to you. You you can play however you want. But uh yeah. Do we got anything else? Let's, what, what else are we gonna upgrade? I do kinda wanna upgrade my army camps right away, get that extra troop space. We got five million in gold. Oh man, this is tough. Yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and put this army camp down. Let's go ahead and do that. Then we can move it over here. It is upgrading. We can move the spell factory over here. That is going to be finished. We got a long ways to go in our king and the queen, though. So there we go. But yeah, like I said, that's why I'm a little rushed. This is literally my fourth or fifth time running through. Anything else in the trader? We could get that... Uh, Book of Heroes and finish my queen. Mm, what do you guys think? Should we do it? Should we do it? Um, we could get a defense down. We could put the we could put an expo down right away. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that while you guys can't see my screen. Thank you. How you guys doing? Large face Tim or fool, whatever you guys want to call me. I don't care. But uh, let's go ahead and buy that. Bada bing, bada boom. We got that. Oopsie, wrong thing. <laughs> you guys just saw my buddy, Iron Knight. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this expo down. I know I am going to... Oh, shoot. I forgot to do that. Okay, there we go. Like I said, though, I am going out of order. That's sometimes, necessarily, you do want to go out of order. Like, all my builders are going to finish at the same time. So, I'm going to have a rough time in three days unless I do some serious farming. But, uh, I suggest spreading out those builders so you don't have to deal with that in three days. Like, I'm going to have to because we're going to have our Barb King back up, our Army Camp, and our Spell Factory all coming up on the same day. So, unless I do a boatload of farming, we're going to have some builders that aren't working but uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Drop a like. Don't forget to hit that sub button. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.